And it appears a second Japanese hostage has been beheaded by Islamic State militants a week after the other Japanese hostage was beheaded. Condemning the terrorist act, Tokyo vowed to increase its support for those working against the IS. Our Kim ji reports. The Islamic State has released another video that shows the beheading of a second Japanese hostage, journalist Kenji Koto. Japan's defense ministry says the video appears to be genuine. This a week after another video appearing to show the beheading of Japanese hostage Haruna Yukawa. In response, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he feels intense indignation and vowed to bring those responsible to justice. This is a very unjust and cowardly terrorist act, and we remain extremely angry about it. We do not forgive terrorists. He vowed to increase Japan's humanitarian aid to support those working against the Islamic State, but he dismissed the possibility of increasing military support for multinational forces fighting the IS, saying they're different issues. Meanwhile, Koto's mother was visibly upset upon hearing the news about her son. I wish to continue to believe in Kenji Gato's wish for a world without war and in his work to save children from poverty and war. Tokyo says it has no new information on a Jordanian pilot who was also captured by IS militants. The latest video didn't indicate whether he's still alive after a stalemate over a prisoner swap proposed by the IS. Meanwhile, international condemnation of the Islamic State group is intensifying, prompting countries to take action. Bahrain has decided to strip more than 70 of its nationals from citizenship for supporting IS militants. Kim Jong, Arirang News.